Welcome to our lecture online. In order to get a better feel of what differential equations are, let's do some examples. Let's do some real live examples of situations where a differential equation can explain what is happening in the physical world. So let's say we have an object with mass m and we push against the object with a constant force f that object will experience an acceleration equal to a. And of course a and f are vectors, but let's just look at the magnitude of these. And so we have the equation f equals ma but we realize that a could be written as a differential of the velocity. So this could be written as dv dt, the change in the velocity with respect to time. And if we plug that in for a right here, this now becomes f equals m times dv dt, which then in itself becomes a differential equation. That is what we call differential equation. That would be a first order differential equation. So if we solve this a little bit better, we put the f on the other side, set equal to to a zero, we can write this as m times dv dt uh, minus f by bringing f across is equal to zero, and then dividing both sides by m, we get dv dt is equal to f, whoop, not equal, but that would be minus, minus f over m is equal to zero. So that would be a classic first order differential equation. Now, what we could also do is we can turn this into a second order differential equation by realizing that v is equal to dx dt. So v is equal to the change in position with respect to time. If we then plug that in here, this now becomes a second order differential equation. We can write this d squared x dt squared minus f over m is equal to zero. And so now here we have a first order differential equation and there we have a second order differential equation, each describing what happens to this object when a constant force f pushes against it. So here, this describes the situation where we can calculate the velocity as a function of time, and here we can use the second order differential equation to find the position as a function of time. So that is the purpose of differential equations, to allow you to solve for things in this particular situation. Now, what if force was not a constant? What if the force depended on position? For example, what if f was a function of x? For example, let's say that is equal to c times x. In other words, the force would increase by some amount as x increases, as you continue to gain more and more distance, the force would increase linearly, and c would be the constant of proportionality. If we plug that in, then this equation now would become the second, the second uh, derivative with respect to time of x minus cx divided by m is equal to zero. And again, that would be a second order differential equation for which we can try to solve uh, for x. And so again, the methodologies of solving second order differential equations will come in the following videos, of course. But here in this first set, we just want to give you a feel, a comfort feel of what differential equations are, why we use them, and why we need them, and how we can describe the very same thing using different equations to accomplish different things. Here we solve for velocity, there we solve for position. Each case, force is constant, and here we solve for position with a force that varies with position x. So, there you go, differential equations simply mathematically describe a real life physical situation which we can then solve for the various variables. And that's our first example. We'll show you a few more examples to get a feel of what differential equations are.